Hi friends, thank you so much for being here. My name is Haley and I'll be guiding you through a short 15 minute flow that will help you support your core. We'll begin an extended child's pose. Draw your knees out wide, your first toes to touch, touch your arms out long in front of you. Settle your forehead down onto your mat or maybe rest palm over a palm and place your forehead there. As you arrive, take a big full breath and fill up through your belly, your ribs, and your chest. And full breath out. <sighs> breathe. And breathe out. Now gently seal your lips. Hug the muscles in the back of your throat. Begin to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose to activate your victorious breath. This breath is here to energize you, it's here to guide you, and it's also here to anchor you. Breathe in. And out. Inhale, tabletop, press up to hands and knees and palms as you arrive. Press into your palms, into each of your fingertips. Drive your knees and shins down into your mat. Inhale, cow pose, swing your heart forward, drop your belly low and pause. Shift weight forward into your fingertips to stretch out your low belly. Release your tailbone up to the sky. Breathe in. Exhale, cat pose, round and dome through your back. Press into your palms to spread your shoulder blades apart. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cat. And exhale, cat. One more cycle. Breathe in. And Inhale, neutral tabletop, lengthen your spine. Exhale, modified side plank to the right. Ground your left palm parallel, your left shin to the top edges of your space. Extend your right fingertips up towards the sky. Now, float your right leg up and away from your mat. Take a big breath in. And breath out. Carve your belly up and in. Maybe even sweep your right fingertips towards the space ahead of you. Breathe in. Exhale, tabletop, release your right palm down, reset. Inhale, modify side plank to the left now. Parallel your right shin. Send your left leg behind you and reach your left fingertips towards the sky. Press into your right palm a lot. Micro bend your right elbow now if you'd like. Extend your left leg up and in line with your left hip. Send energy up through your fingertips or maybe reach your left arm overhead. Take a full breath in. Exhale, tabletop. Release all the way down. Inhale, tuck your toes, press the balls of your feet into your mat space, and exhale, hovering tabletop. Float your knees a couple of inches away from your mat and pause. Energetically scrape the heels of your hands towards the balls of your feet to fire up through your core. Now bring your focus out and beyond the top edge of your mat space. Breathe. Exhale, standing forward fold. Step one foot up and then the other. Grab hold of opposite elbows, drape your chest heavy over your thighs, and here you can rock from side to side, and release out any tension or compression within your neck or shoulders, maybe nod your head, yes, shake it out, no, breathe, breathe out, now I'll take sunflowers towards the right, so slowly start to pivot your chest so it spirals open towards the front, stack your shoulders over top of your hips, and then circle all the way back down, draw your left elbow towards your left knee, and release down. Two more times to the right. Inhale as you rise and then exhale as you soften down. Pull your belly up and in. This is both a stretch but also a stabilizer at the same time. Exhale, let it go. Now we switch sides. Slowly start to peel your right shoulder away from your right side body. Stack your shoulders over top of your hips then begin to fall over towards the right side of you. Two more, just like that. Inhale as you rise up. And then exhale as you surrender closer to your mat space. Final time, breathe in. Exhale, let it go. Release your palms towards your mat. Bend your legs, place your hands on your hips. Inhale, rise to stand, Soft shoulders over top of hips. Now place both palms to heart center. Continue to breathe. Maybe both palms touch or palm over palm. Just take a big full breath in and breath out. I invite you to move forward with the intention of steadiness and grounding. 
this ability to stabilize is not only pertinent in our practice, but also available to us in life. So we'll continue to breathe this steadiness, this stabilization, this grounding into your body as we move forward. Breathe in. Breathe out. Release your palms down by your sides. Inhale, mountain pose. Sweep both of your arms up overhead and keep breathing. Press into your heels and energetically scrape them away from one another. Take a big full breath in. Exhale, cactus out your arms. Drive your elbows down in line with your shoulders. Inhale, little chest expansion. Hug your shoulder blades together a lot. Now pause. Reach your tailbone straight down. Scoop your belly up and in. It's about your shoulder blades rather than your belly here. Big breath in. Exhale, standing forward. Full dive your chest over your thighs. Soften your knees. Inhale, high halfway lift. Place your palms on tops of your thighs. Now pause. Shift weight forward into your toes. Hug your shoulder blades together a lot, just like we did before. Inhale, airplane your arms, extend your fingertips back behind you, and pause. Micro bend your knees if they weren't already. Shift weight forward into your toes. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, high plank pose. Plant your palms, step one foot back and then the other. Press into your fingertips. You can always take this on your knees. Hug your glutes towards one another. Inhale, shift forward. Now nice and slow. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Take as much time as you need and know that your knees are there for you always. Release your chest down. Keep the heels of your hands where, you're, where they're at. Inhale, baby cobra. Lift your chest away from your mouth. Bouge your mouth. Lift up and keep breathing. Press into the tops of your feet. Stretch your tailbone towards your heels. Reach your sternum forward, forward, forward. Breathe Exhale, release your forehead down. <sighs> Inhale, tabletop, press up to hand the knees, nice and slow. And exhale, downward facing dog, press into the balls of your feet, lengthen your tailbone up and then back. And just pause here. You can micro bend your knees to release the space of your low back. Hug your outer arm bones inward as if you were opening up two cans of jelly, or rather, jars of jelly. <laughs> Inhale, lift your right leg up and breathe. Dial your right hip crease down. Flex your right foot. Take a big breath in. Exhale, tap your right knee to your right tricep. Pause. Press into your fingertips. Drive your right heel towards your glute. Hug your knee in an inch closer. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Step your right leg all the way through with care. Ground into each of your toes and tap your left knee down onto your mat. Inhale, crescent moon, sweep your arms up, Anjaneyasana, keep breathing. You can press into the ball mound of your left foot or press into the top edge of your left foot, whatever feels more comfortable in your body. Squeeze your left glute a lot to extend your left hip crease. Energetically scrape your right heel back to fire up your right hamstring. Take a big breath in. Exhale, crescent lunge with airplane arms, press your left hamstring up to the sky. Pops. Hug your arm bones towards one another. So we've been into this orientation before. Scoop your belly up and in and drag your right hip crease back. Lengthen your sternum forward. Now inhale, reaching crescent. Extend your fingertips forward. Pops. Keep your breath. Imagine you're holding onto a beach ball in between both of your palms. Now press into the beach ball a lot like you're trying to pop it. Take a big breath in. Exhale, goal post your arms. Draw your elbows in line with your shoulders. Same as cactus. Hug your shoulder blades together a lot. Scoop your belly up and in, press into your right foot. Inhale, warrior two, reach your arms up, send your left heel down, and arrive into your shape. I'll switch sides so you can see the front. Align your right heel to your left arch. Pivot your left toes towards the top left corner of your space. Send energy out through your fingertips as you wrap your inner right thigh out, and then hug on tight to your right glute. Breathe in. Exhale, extended side angle. Plant your right forearm on top of your right thigh. Reach your left fingertips upwards to the sky. Wrap your right rib cage upwards. And then lift up through your left fingertips to activate through your right side oblique. Keep your breath steady in your chest. Now an option here. Inhale, sweep your left arm overhead. You can take one arm or you can take both arms for a little bit more activation in your core. Press down into both of your feet. Keep your breath steady. Take a big breath in. Exhale, high plank pose. Pivot through your reaching crescent. Plant your palms down and step your right foot back behind you. Pause in high plank. Press into the balls of your feet. Squeeze your glutes. Different this time. Inhale, shift forward. 
Exhale, low plank, hover halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog, press into the tops of your feet, peel your heart forward and breathe. Draw your thighs and hips away from your mat. Pull your heart forward through your arms, breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. So know that if that doesn't feel great in your back, you can always come to the baby cobra expression that we took in the beginning. Inhale, lift your left leg high and pause. Dial your left hip tip down towards your mat so your pelvis is steady and neutral. Breathe in. Exhale, tap your left knee to your left tricep, shift forward and pause. Press into your fingertips. Squeeze your left heel to your left glute. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Step your left foot all the way through. Press your right knee down into your mat, ground into your steady shape. Inhale, crescent, and Anjaneyasana, float up. Pause. Find the orientation that you like with your back foot. Press into your left heel and energetically scrape your left heel back like you're trying to scrunch up your mat beneath you. Breathe in. Exhale, crescent, lunge with airplane arms. Press into the ball of your right foot. Lengthen your right hamstring upwards. Squeeze your left glute a lot so it's strong and tip your right hip crease forward. Hug your shoulder blades together. Micro bend your elbows. Inhale, reaching crescent, lengthen your fingertips forward and breathe. Press your palms in towards the beach ball once again. Scoop your belly up and in, maybe even shift more weight to your left foot. Breathe in. Exhale, cactus your arms, draw your elbow tips in line with your shoulders. Hug your shoulder blades together. Carve your belly up and in. Inhale, warrior two, extend your fingertips up and then land down. So your feet are about a leg length and distance. Align your left heel to your right arch and pivot your right toes slightly forward to roll your right hip crease down. Send energy up through your fingertips and hug your shoulder blades together at the same time so there's opposing forces happening in your body. Breathe and exhale, extended side angle. Reach your right fingertips up towards the sky. You want a little bit more depth here. You can always reach down for your mat space or maybe a block or a block substitute. Wrap your left rib cage up towards the sky. Now reach up, up, up to pull your belly up and in. Inhale, reach your right arm overhead or maybe both arms. Keep breathing. Press into your feet. Hug your inner thighs towards one another. Inhale. Exhale, high plank to low plank, chaturanga, dandasana. Move through your reaching crescent. Plant your palms. Without sound, can you step your left foot back? Ooh, a little sound. Inhale, upward facing dog. Press into the tops of your feet. Exhale, downward. Facing dog, lengthen your tailbone high. Now we'll start to take all of this one breath to one movement. Inhale, lift your right leg upwards. Exhale, tap your right knee to your right tricep, maybe look right. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step your right foot all the way through. Inhale, crescent moon, tap your left knee down, reach up. Exhale, crescent lunge with airplane arms, fire up your left hamstring. Inhale, reaching crescent, press palms towards each other. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, warrior two, burst up and then land. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, extend your arms forward. Exhale, chaturanga, plant your palms down. Step your right foot behind you. Inhale, upward facing dog or your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, tap your left knee to your left tricep. Maybe look left. Inhale, look, rather lift your left leg up. Exhale, low lunge, step through, tap your right knee down. Inhale, crescent move, extend your arms. Exhale, crescent lunge with airplane arms, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, reaching crescent. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, warrior two, reach up and then down. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reach your arms forward, maybe one or both. Exhale, high plank to low plank, plant your palms without down. Can you step back? Ooh. Inhale, upward facing dog or maybe baby cobra this time. Exhale, downward facing dog is where we meet. Take a big breath in and a full breath out. So we'll take that one more time with a couple of add-ons. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, tap your right knee to your right tricep. Pause here. We'll take elevators, so lower your right knee down towards your wrist, and then exhale, pick it up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, pick it up. Just here, four. Here, three. Press into your fingertips. Here's two. 
Last one, inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, low lunge, step through. Inhale, crescent, and tap your left knee down. Reach both arms high. Exhale, crescent, lunge with airplane arms. Pause here. Stay high on the ball mound of your left foot. Now micro bend your left knee. Hip extension, squeeze your left glute. You straighten your left leg, and then bend it. Straighten up, and then bend. Just here, four. Here, three, squeeze your left glute. Last two. And one, inhale, reaching crescent, frame your ears. Exhale, goal post your arms. This is your final change here. Scoop your belly up and in. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, press your forearms together. Carve your belly up and in. So lots of standing core here. As you carve your belly up and in, press your fingertips towards one another. Now inhale, open up, expand. And then exhale, pull it all in like a rounded cat shape. Four more. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull it in. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Final time. Breathe in. Exhale. Inhale. Warrior two. Open up. Exhale. Extended side angle. Reach up through your left fingers. Listen here. Inhale. Reverse triangle. Get a nice long stretch through your right side body. Press into your right foot. Keep your breath and fill up through your ribs as you reach taller. Inhale. Exhale, high plank to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, other side. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, tap your left knee to your left tricep back to elevators. It's lower, down, and then lift up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Four more. Inhale. Exhale, last three. Last two. And one, inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step three, tap your right knee down. Inhale, crescent, moon, reach up tall. Exhale, crescent lunge with airplane arms, press up. Now, we come back to our hip extensions. Micro bend your right knee, breathe in. Exhale, press your right hamstring tall. Inhale as you bend, then exhale as you straighten. And continue to move with this. So you're firing up through your right glute, but then your left leg is being forced to stabilize here. That's activating your core. Here for four, ground into your front foot for three. Stay high on your back foot for two. Last one, inhale, reaching crescent, you got it. Exhale, goal post your arms, take a big breath in. Exhale, round your spine, press your forearms together and breathe. Keep all of your weight in your left foot. Carve your belly up and in as if I took an ice cream scoop to your belly. Inhale, open up. Exhale, pull it in. Four more. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull it in. Last three. Final two. Last one. Inhale, warrior two. Down. Exhale, extended side angle. Beautiful work. Final change. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten your left leg. Reach your left fingertips up and breathe. Hug your inner thighs together. Now press your right hip forward into your left. Lift up, up, up through your left arm. Breathe. Exhale, high plank to low plank, your expression. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll take two more drills and finish it off. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, hovering tabletop back to that shape. Press into your ball mounts, press into your fingertips. Now, keep your knees hovering, squeeze your glutes a lot. We take hovering tabletop mountain climbers. Draw your right thigh in, step it back. Left leg in, step it back. So it's exhale as you pull it, inhale as you step back. Now look out and beyond your fingertips. Hover your knees an inch lower. That's it team, you're almost there for four. Last three, you've got two. Final one, and then come on down to your knees. Flip over into your back, nice work. And you come onto your back, settle down. Stack your knees over top of your ankles. Release your arms down by your side. Now energetically scrape your heels towards your glutes. That same activation we found in crescent moon. Press into your toe mounds now. Inhale, bridge pose. Lift your hips high and breathe. So now working the back line of our body and extending the front line here. Press down into your toes and then drag your heels towards your shoulders so your hamstrings are nice and firm. 
And we just take this for three breaths, starting to slow things down. Inhale. Exhale. Two more like that. Breathe in steady into your feet, steady into your shoulders, and breathe out. Final time. Inhale. Exhale, lower your tailbone down to your mat. Constructive rest, pose, broken bridge. Draw your feet out as wide as your space. Knock your knees into touch, and then place one palm to your heart, one to your belly. And feel and make contact with the life force that exists beneath your palms right here. Breathe into that space. Inhale. Exhale, let it out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, draw both of your thighs up and in towards your chest. Then exhale, gentle supine twist, surrender your legs over to the left. See out your arms, maybe even bring your focus over your right shoulder, keep it up to this. As you settle in, keep a neutral pelvis, so dip your right hip crease away from your right ribs. If your right shoulder comes away from your mouth, then maybe you place your right hand at your low back or on your hip. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, draw your legs back up and through center. Maybe they move together. Exhale, easy supine twist to the opposite side. Back hip on top of hip, and then peel your left hip crease away from your left rib. Maybe you place your left palm at your low back, or maybe you tee it up. Bring your focus wherever it feels comfortable for you, and then notice how your body starts to ground into your mouth. Inhale, draw your legs back up and through center. Exhale, pull your thighs into your chest, round your upper back, draw your forehead to the knees, breathe in. And exhale, final resting, pull Shavasana. Take a minute here within this restful shape to decompress, to truly feel your body ground deeper into your mat, to allow the roots of the earth to grow up into you and pull you deeper into you. These next moments to feel connected to your breath. Take a big, full breath in. And a breath out. And you begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes, rock your head from side to side. Keep your gaze soft and then begin to draw one side into your chest from the other. All heavy to either side and then begin to make your way back up to an easy seat. Draw your hands close to heart, either palm over palm or both to touch. Take a big breath in and a breath out. Let me begin. Bow your forehead towards your fingertips, and together we say namaste as an offering for this practice. Thank you so much for being here once again. My name is Katie, and I hope to practice with you soon.